maybe we finish the toy after the quiz. My name's Annie. My mom died a week ago. She was a very this is the Stream It or Beam It movie review. I have no idea what in the world I just saw in this theater. I'm going to help y'all out and save y'all a whole lot of headache. Watch this review. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. So you're down every time life gain is going to save y'all from financial ruin and boredom. Also, if you really enjoy the content, join my Patreon. The link is in the description. I also have a link for an app that's free for everybody to join. It is called Stardust, where I do 30-second reviews of movies i just seen. You can check that out. And if you want to check out my blog, maybe buy something, go to shoplifegains.com. Now let's jump into this sad rant of a review. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn depressed. Sex as hell host. I'm depressed because I was just forced to go see this movie, Hereditary. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you don't wanna sit through this review, I'm just gonna tell you, the movie's so terrible, don't even fucking stream it. Just wait for this shit to drop on cable. Let's talk about it, but first, let me put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Maybe this will help me feel better because I just wasted $14 to see this atrocity of a movie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you read the reviews on Hereditary, you would have thought that this was the best movie since Titanic. You would have thought this was going to be a hard movie for the ages. All I want to know is was the critics paid? And if they weren't paid, what kind of ganja was they smoking? Cause damn it, you need to give me and the rest of America some of that shit because this movie was terrible. Let me tell you who's in the movie. It's written by Ari Aster, directed by Ari Aster. It stars Tony Collette, Millie Shapiro, Gabriel Byrne, and a whole host of great actors. These people can act their butt off. But the movie was terrible. It's about a family that has a grandmother that passes away. And I'm not going to spoil it, so don't think I'm spoiling it for you. And long story short, this movie flip-flops between a horror and just a simple, basic family drama. I was so bored in that theater, ladies and gentlemen, that I started to play marbles. The movie is so terrible and it lasts like two hours. You would rather watch turtles race in a tub of quicksand than to go to this two hour atrocity. Halfway through the movie, I'm wondering, is this next scene going to be the part that's going to end the movie to get us out of here? And so it starts out very slow. There, I mean, there's no horror. It, you don't know what this shit is about. I haven't been this disgusted going to see a movie since Power Rangers. And this is worse. You have no idea what this movie is about until the last 10 minutes of the movie. You don't know if this movie is a, a, a family drama movie where you just got crazy members of the family or if it's horror. You don't see nothing that terrifies you until the very last 10 minutes and that shit wasn't even terrifying. Hell, it probably be more terrifying watching me with yellow teeth than what they try to put in this movie. It was just horrible, man. I don't know how this got greenlit. It starts out slow. There's just too much dialogue. 
there's no narrative built around anything to help you follow the story. So that's why I'm saying you're sitting in there in your seat for an hour and a half wondering what's going on. They go from here to here to here. You don't know what is going on. And then to add a punchline to this, ladies and gentlemen, the ending of this movie is so dumb. I mean, it's just so dumb. It leaves you wondering, how the hell did this get greenlit? Ladies and gentlemen, the answer to this is you don't even wait for it on the stream. Hell, you don't even wait for it to come on cable TV. You wait for that shit to come on your local Channel 9 News before you watch this. Don't waste your money. And I'm sorry if I'm all emotional, but I, I mean, look, I'm dieting, cutting for a bodybuilding show, and when you're in a movie theater and it's boring, you can't concentrate on the movie. You're listening to people eating popcorn. My wife is sitting over there eating a candy bar, and I'm just trying to stay in my diet zone. But I can't do that because I can't focus on the movie because it sucks. My wife is eating candy. That sucks. The people in front of me is eating delicious, tasty smelling popcorn. That sucks. I had nothing to focus on. This movie is terrible. Save your money. Don't think about it. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. You would rather watch Turtles Race in a tub, baby turtles at that, than to go see this movie. I'm giving y'all a life gain and money saving right here by avoiding this movie. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.